Hey everyone, my name's Jo and welcome to Aussie Homeschool Adventures. It's great to have you here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. It's so good to see you. So today's video is another one in my Back to Homeschool playlist for 2022. And remember, all of these videos are a collaboration with a bunch of other homeschooling mums here on YouTube. Danny at One Single Joy is hosting the playlist and I'll be sure to link it down below. Go and check it out and have a look at some of the amazing homeschool content is on that playlist. There is so much great stuff. So today's video is my plan with me for 2022, how I plan out our entire homeschool year, which is a bit different. I know not everyone plans for the entire year and I do this once a year, obviously, because it's for the whole year. And yeah, so I do it based off of the program that I submit to the HEU. So that's the Home Education Unit here in Queensland. We are required by law in Queensland when we are registered to do a program for the 10 months or 12 months of the year that you're homeschooling for. And then every 10 months we do a report back to them, which has three samples, a maths and English and one other subject. And a, a report, sorry, a notations of the year. I'll leave a link here to my reporting video on how I do my reporting. You can check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, I do a plan for the following year that includes all of our subjects and all the things that we are going to be learning about. So I take that program that I've done for the HEU, which is very detailed, very um, educational speak, and I simplify it down. I use Canva on my computer and I make up a timetable that works really well for me that has all of our subjects listed for every day. I'll bring the camera over and show you that in a minute. Um, yeah, so I do that. I've printed it out and I have it in a print version that goes into my planner that I use week by week, which is the Unbound Homeschooling Planner. I'll leave that linked as well for you. So I use that to take my planning even deeper. So I'll bring the camera over and show you my plan. So over here, I have my weekly planner. The girls helped me pick this out. It's just done here in Canva. So I have our days of the week and our subjects listed there. So it's really quite basic and simple. I've done this up here based on our program that I submitted to the HEU. So that's it on the screen. I've used Canva, which is a free program as well. Let me just grab my paper version. So this is it printed out. I just printed it out, got a blob of blue tack on the back. I will stick it back up on the wall. So I'll bring you in nice and close so you can see. I just list out our subjects for every day that we plan on doing. So our core subjects that we do every day of the week is Bible, language lessons, handwriting, spelling, and maths. So that's repeated Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The only thing on Friday we don't do is handwriting. And then our electives that loop on the days of the week as well. So Monday, we've got our science, chemistry we do, world history and physical education. Tuesdays is geography, Australian history and music and art. Wednesdays is science, zoology and HASS. Thursdays is geography, typing, PE and read aloud or our literacy study. And then Fridays is HASS, coding and OSMO. So that just lives up on the wall and the girls can see that whenever they want to. Now, you'll have to excuse the mess on my desk. Um, I'm in the middle of several craft projects still. You can tell I'm not ready to actually start school officially yet. So this is my beautiful planner, but I'm actually gonna pop you on time-lapse because I haven't finished putting it all in. I've started, but I've still got more pages here to punch. So I'm just gonna pop this on to fast forward because you don't wanna watch me punch all these holes in slow-mo. So I have finished binding, like punching all the holes in it, popped it in my binder. It's a little bit glary, I'm sorry about that. So yes, I just have this one. So it's a beautiful planner. She's got a, a beautiful um, uh, note, hang on. Because of how I printed it, the note actually prints on here. I'm just gonna pull this out and show you. There's a beautiful note here from the lovely Jamie. Um, talking about her planner and her and whatnot it's just beautiful so I have our welcome to this planner belongs to I haven't even written in here yet 
Does anyone else get nervous before they write in like a brand new book or a new planner or something? I always get a titch nervous. Um, so yes, we get a welcome to page. Then straight up, we have our 2022 calendar for the whole year. I love this. This just gives me all the dates and the weeks. It's such a handy reference to have. A year overview, so the different terms and different things that you want to do, be it subjects, be it um, whatever. You can put whatever you want. The things you're planning to do over the four terms of the year. Now, she's broken it into terms, which gives it use for people that follow school terms, but also just even those that don't. See, I don't read rigidly follow our school terms here in Queensland. I loosely do for some stuff. Um, in as much as I break it into sort of four-ish chunks and we take breaks sometimes. Sometimes not, sometimes. Last year we were doing a little bit of four or five weeks on and then a week off and I'm gonna try again with that this year. We'll see how the year pans out for us. I am not not a hundred percent sure which way we'll go. Because we've got sport and stuff, so they follow the sickle terms, so it's just handy to know. So yeah, so we've got the year overview and then subject breakdown. So one for English and maths. So the different topics and things that you're planning on teaching. So if you're not following a curriculum, you can be quite specific about your planning for those things. Science and technology, HASS. Um, on a side note, we're using Unbound Homeschooling's HASS curriculum for this year. If you haven't already checked it out, this video might be too late for you to join her. Go and check it out. It is so much fun. It's all hands-on, made by a homeschool mum with a homeschool mindset. So it is fantastic. Definitely go and check it out. I'll leave a link in the description box to her house program as well and to the planner. Um, so language and art. So that's like your second language, not language arts um, and PE. So these are all the different subjects that you can do the other ones. Then term one. Now she's broken this mostly into sort of like months rather than the school terms because the school term doesn't start till well now till like the 7th of February but this planner starts um sooner than that I'll show you in a second so you've got the months you've got space underneath it that you could write like birthdays or any events that you've got planned or coming up for that month then we've got a notes excursions and outings resources subjects or goals to focus on for term one lots of space for you to write a beautiful quote down the side when the atmosphere encourages learning the learning is inevitable elizabeth fox so i love these they're really quite cool and then we're straight into the weekly layout so we've got the little month up the box here events this week goals just some space to take notes and then monday now she starts this on monday the 3rd of january so if you started early you could start recording from the 3rd of january and then a space here to take your notes from the week or the day. So this is really cool. So this just follows that same pattern all the way through. So I will probably start planning mine for probably not that 27th of Jan. I'll probably leave it a week just because the 20, well, 26th, whatever, 25th is a Tuesday. I like to start on a Monday. So we will probably start on Monday the 31st of January. Um, and then go through and do school that first week of Feb. And uh, yeah, so I will start using my planner here. Now, so I've taken you through now everything that I do to plan out my year. So I hope you find that interesting. I hope it's helpful, help you to see how other people plan out their homeschool year. Um, like I said, there's so much flexibility in what you do and how you do it. I'm a little more traditional in my homeschooling in some ways and in, in as much as we do actually do a curriculum, we do follow subjects and we do I'll do book learning. We do natural learning as well, but I really do like to have that book learning for my children. I feel that it's important and they learn really well that way. So that's just what we do. And everyone does their own thing and we all care and respect for each other here. I found in the homeschooling community that I've been involved in. So that's really good to know. So, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me, please. It does really help my channel to grow. It helps my content to get out to other people that might be interested. Share this video with your friends and family that are also homeschooling or interested in homeschooling. Make sure if you haven't already that you do subscribe to my channel help that help my channel to grow 
it's great to see my growing subscriber count. It makes me feel so happy that I'm actually helping other people out there in their homeschooling journey because that's what I really want to do. So please do do those things. Share this video, like it, subscribe to my channel. Check out the um, playlist for the other homeschooling content in the description box from all the other homeschooling mums. Have a fantastic week and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.